Welcome to Your Favorites by Request with me, Tim Parton. You've sent me your favorite songs, and I'm ready to play while you sing along. And if you don't remember all the words, don't worry, they're on the screen. And now, Your Favorites by Request. Your Favorites by Request. Hi, welcome to Your Favorites by Request. We would probably agree that one of the most popular verses in the Bible is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God so loved. What an amazing, intimate, and personal gift. If you've risked showing and sharing love, hopefully you know the feeling of having love genuinely poured back to you. As you would imagine, one of my favorite song themes is love. There are thousands of secular love songs. Some of my favorites are from the 40s era. But nothing beats a good old gospel love song or a hymn to my Savior. So imagine how thrilled I was this week to hear from Michigan and New Jersey and out Washington State with requests for songs that express the love of our precious Savior. And this one for Alan in Saudi Daisy, Tennessee, a great old convention style song called I Love My Savior Too. Jesus, my heavenly King loves me, I know. Blessings still flow. I love my Savior too. I love my Savior. He loves me too. I seek His favor in everything I do. Walking with Him each day, love light doth shine. That's a lot of fun if you like that kind of thing. Here's a great song, Isn't the Love of Jesus Something Wonderful? There will never be a sweeter story, story of the Savior's love divine, love that brought him from the realms of glory. One. 
wonderful it is to me. I like that song, Wonderful Love. A lot of times we wonder if songs, if the lyrics of songs can really touch a life like maybe even a sermon can. And it's not really up for debate. We just, uh, words, if it touches you, it touches you, and you can't help it. But uh, the next song is a song written by a very um, a prolific writer, Charles Wesley, wrote several hymns. And uh, one of the viewers sent me a, a book. It's a companion to hymns. And it talks about And Can It Be? And it's an example of how the lyrics can touch lives. This says that Charles Wesley often told in his journal how he made use of hymns in his evangelistic ministry. The August 22nd, 1739 entry in Charles' journal tells how this hymn was used by the Holy Spirit in the conviction and conversion of a drunken servant of a, med uh, of a drunken servant of a Mr. Seward. This morning, the journal says, the work upon poor Robin appeared to be God's work. The words that made the first impression were from the second stanza of And Can It Be. Tis mercy all, immense and free, for, O oh my God, it found out me. Charles writes that this servant must, uh, he now seems full of sorrow and joy and astonishment and love. So he's talking about the impact that these lyrics had on um, the, the singer, the listener of the words. So this song is full of words. <laughs> I told somebody it has more words than the Webster Dictionary. But uh, they're great words, and I hope that you can make um, sense of it. If it's a favorite of yours, uh, you, you will sing along, and uh, the rest of you can just read along and take in the meaning of these words. i 
and we'll be right back. Hi, and welcome back. I love the fact that God gives us all different gifts and uh, some of us are instrumentalists, some of us are singers, some of us do creative things in other ways, like baking awesome apple pies. But uh, I have a great special guest, he's a friend of mine, and his name is Jamie George, and many of you know him, and he is a wonderful violinist, and he is out in California today, and we caught up with him, and so let's see if we can talk to him a while. Hey Jamie, are you there? Yes, Tim, how are you? I'm doing awesome. You look great, and that sun is, is just Thank falling you. right on your face, and um, I'm <laughs> jealous, but hey, that's all right. I'll get over it. But um, I'm, thank you for being on the program. Uh, I, how, long have you been, how long have you been involved in music? What's your story there? Well, uh, my mother says that when she was pregnant uh, and she would play the piano, because she's a pianist like you are, that uh, I would punch and kick in her belly. Oh, and wow. so she figured that I had some kind of rhythm. <laughs> and at the age of two, she gave me a plastic saxophone and I started uh, picking out little church tunes at that time. Uh, and at the age of five, she took me to my first violin lesson and I've been playing ever since, so for over 40 years. That is wonderful. And you've been, tr you, tr you travel and you play in churches and concert halls. That's what you do, right? That's your thing. That's right. Great. Every weekend, somewhere else. <laughs> oh, wow. What, what a ministry. I know I, am, I have been a road musician in the past, and there's nothing yeah. like the road. There's nothing like being able to g travel around and see the country. But um, yes. tell, me, tell me what music means more than just traveling, I'm sure, because I know that gets old. So there has to be some yep. more, better reason uh, for, for what you do than just to get to see the country. Well, music for me is an opportunity to share not only the talent that God has given me, but the story that he has given me to share with others. Mm. And so I look at it as a way to communicate with people, a way to open doors mm -hmm. and perhaps share in a way that uh, is not as intrusive. Uh, some people are not interested in coming to church necessarily, but they'll come to a concert and all of a sudden they are excited about learning about Jesus Christ. Right. And so music really for me is a way to communicate and share what God has put in my heart. Right. That's awesome. I think that's kind of like John the Baptist. We prepare the way for the message. Mm -hmm. So, so that's, that's, that's right. wonderful. Great gift. Thank you for sharing it with the people that you share. And speaking of sharing, I think it would be kind of fun. You wouldn't happen to have your uh, violin close by, would you? Here it is. Oh, well, wonders of wonders. <laughs> well, uh, so what do you think about playing a tune together uh, just for the entertainment of the people here? <laughs> well, it would be an honor because I have seen you play for years on so many different stages that I would love that opportunity. Cool. Well, what do you want to play? How about a, a happy song that reminds us of what Jesus is preparing for us when we all get to heaven? Oh, we love that song here. Okay, good. Well, that um, I think I'll play a in a neutral key in the key of C. Is that good for you? You got it. <laughs> okay. Nice. Great <laughs> job. Jamie, thank, thank you, you so much. I appreciate you and I uh, look forward to working with you sometime, all right? You got it. It'd be a privilege. <laughs> God bless you, brother. Thank you. You too. I love that country out there that Jamie's in. And uh, this song is requested from Margarita in Burlington, New Jersey, on the other coast. And it's got uh, some descriptive words 
talking about our Redeemer and nature, and it's, it's really lovely. It's a contemporary tune. I think you'll love this song. If you know it, sing along. Who taught the sun where to stand in the morning? And who told the ocean you can only come this far? the moon where to hide till evening whose words alone can catch a falling star well I know my redeemer lives I know my redeemer lives all creation testifies I've received a couple of requests for this song. Um, it, it's a unique, n unique lyric. It reminds us that Christ sees uh, our tears.
that for those tears I die. Your goodness is so great, I can't understand. Dear Lord, I know that all of this was planned. I know From Georgia comes another song um, from the state of Georgia, and the um, lady's name is Myra, and she wants to hear In Times Like These. Hope you're singing along, Myra. In times like these, we need a Savior. In times like these, we need an anchor, be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock, this rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one, this rock is Jesus. like these we need the bible in times like these oh be not idle be very sure
Christ is the solid rock. Thank you so very much for singing along. Remember, He is the reason to sing. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. Singing at 